Hi, today we're going to be looking at some incredible fonts for a uh, casual collector. These aren't going to be high quality coins, but these are a little variety of Indian head pennies. This one is 1908 and it's in pretty decent condition. We can see them both sides. Looks nice. Not uncirculated or anything, but I got a 1907. Oh, the shadow got me there. All right. What I looked for, and you can do this too, is for coins that show the full date they didn't look like slugs they look more like coins and I'm opposed to buying coins that have a hole in them and this is the 1906 now you may be wondering how much do these things cost uh, it, it's I bought those this year in 2024 at a show this is a 1904, and I paid $1 each for them. So if you're looking for something a little novel uh, to start a collection, dealers often have a box where you can pick through and find something nice without spending a fortune. Now, usually when you get back into the early 1800s, they're going to run you a little more. But I did find an 1899 and also paid only a dollar for it. And I found an 1898. You have to do a little work going through the, what the deal has in order to see well, what you want, uh, this box was actually pretty filled, so there's a nice little collection that I managed to get, and it was an, uh, actually about 10 of them, uh, some of them have duplicate dates, so I'm not going to bother you with that, but uh, the deal also had V nickels or Liberty Head nickels, uh, buffalo nickels, old wheat scents. It was a nice variety in the box. I, I bought Indian head pennies because I had gotten some of the others somewhere else. So, coin collecting does not have to be expensive. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and I'm I'm going to probably show you some others in the near future. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of stopped. Yeah.